Hey guys and girls, Walid here, and uh, I'm back with another episode of Evident Design. And this time I'm hanging out in, uh, literally hanging out, in the snowy Swedish woodlands, just like normal people do. Mm. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions and thoughts from you guys about how to make a living as a creator. You know, as a digital artist, writer, photographer, musician, composer, filmmaker, you name it. How do you turn your creative passion into money, into an income? And I go through this in the end of my course, Cinematic Design, um, how to price your work, you know, how to make a portfolio, get clients and so on. But in this video, I wanted to share my five-step method, you know, going from aspiring artist to a professional artist. And I've done this personally with music composing, editing, animation and design, concept art and illustration. And I've seen many of my colleagues, friends and students succeed like this. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk over the frozen lake here. It's a beautiful day. Um, so here's the thing, it all begins with your craft. Forget about money and work. Does you, do you enjoy this creation? Does it emblaze your spirit with joy and excitement? And does time seem absent when you're producing? If so, keep doing it. Keep getting more and more awesome at creating and the rest will fall in place. And here's the truth, people. No amount of theory, techniques or knowledge that you gain from me or anyone else will land you gigs. You are responsible for that, no one else. But what I can do is guide you the, the right way so you can take the proper steps and spend the proper effort and time and aim your effort at what will land you gigs. So honing your craft is paramount simply because your professional success hinges on it. You need to, um, wait, uh, yeah, let's walk over <laughs> the lake here. So you need to constantly reinforce your technique and knowledge and become better and more efficient at creating and producing. And if you do this with um, a healthy amount of fortitude and positive attitude, it will show in your craft and prove itself a monumental pillar to your career. So let's see if this uh, ice is thick enough. This is called Furoschan and it's in the uh, west coast of Sweden. So anyway, uh, let's just head back. Um, I'm gonna show you the entire path going from an aspiring to a professional. Is it simple? Yes. Easy? Well, not really. It takes time, dedication and a will to keep producing and improving if you wish to succeed. No successful creator has managed a full-time job out of their craft or even a side income without any real time and practice put into their craft. But here's the thing, if you know the path there and if you know it in a simple and understandable way, the road will be much clearer and it will be easier to set goals for yourself. So now I'm just gonna enjoy my, my day here. I'm gonna sleep over here actually, all alone, cause that's real fun. And then tomorrow I'm gonna make my way home and uh, we're gonna talk about this uh, in a deeper, deeper way. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Yo, we're back home. That was a, a quite cool night, but um, you know, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, I'm kidding. Uh, let's check out the five steps to turn your creative passion into a living. Step one, practice, practice, practice. Like we already talked about before on the lake of ice, this is the bearing pillar of your success. Here's the process that happens, which I call the positive spiral of professional creation. It goes like this. It all starts with your practice, creating art professionally and or personally. The more you practice, the more proficient you become. And the more proficient you are, the better your portfolio gets. The better your portfolio is, the higher the chance you'll get noticed by potential clients and talent scouts willing to pay you for what you do. And this in turn reinforces your portfolio even further. Pretty straightforward. Practice, guys. 
Step two, put yourself out there and create a kick-ass portfolio. If you're awesome at what you create and no one sees your produce, getting a gig will be tricky. That's why putting your creations up wherever you can, uh, Facebook groups, um, your profile page, Instagram, ArtStation, YouTube, DeviantArt, simply where potential clients see them, will be quintessential to attracting the attention you need for them to reach out about projects and commissions and for you to grow your following. That's how you get gigs, guys. Step three, don't be afraid. Be ready to say yes. As an aspiring creative in the industry, you have to grab the opportunities as they present themselves to you. More than likely, you will be given requests to create art that you think you're not good enough for. Say yes anyway and become good enough. And chances are that you're better than them at painting, so you will be able to help them out. Learn the job after you accepted it. Obviously, it's good if you're somewhat familiar with the task uh, before promising you'll deliver. The point is to keep pushing your boundaries and dare to say yes to new challenges. At any rate, clients will often ask you to do things that they've seen you do before, so whatever. Step 4. Build your social network. Artists are usually quite introverted due to the nature of our creativity. The amount of success you create for yourself notice I said create, not wait for, is proportional to the amount of effort you put out. Just like an internal combustion engine inside your car or motorcycle, the more gas you put in, the more power you output. Now this includes going outside your comfort zone and making new connections. Reach out to companies, indie developers, music labels who might need artworks. Talk to other artists and ask for advice. Be interested in others and the many different things in life and you will find how this all will amass to prosperity in your art career. Step 5. Put real value on your creations. Your artworks are products. Take a manufacturer who creates a product. He puts money, time and effort into his product. What's different about your art? Exactly, there is no difference. You spend years getting good at what you do and a lot of effort practicing. So, whether you only spend an hour on a piece of artwork or two weeks, you need to value your work as an actual product. It's not just that one hour of work, it's that one hour plus the years you've spent becoming this good. Many people think that artists are just having fun and asking them to create art for free is enough, thinking they'll be happy to do it just for the fun of it or for exposure. And there is of course a time and place to say yes to doing free work and collaborations, and we'll cover that very soon. For now, value your time, effort and creations, and put a real price on them and stick to your principles. Follow these five steps and you will surely start seeing requests coming in for artworks regularly, and eventually you'll forge connections that will stay with you as clients for a long time. In the beginning, step one and two are the most important as you improve as an artist and create an online profile of your work. This alone will take you very far getting people to want to hire you and for you to start making an income as a freelance artist. The rest of module eight in my cinematic design course, we go through how to get clients, build a portfolio, living as a digital nomad, tips and tricks from professionals in the industry, and a bunch more. So. If you haven't signed up for the waitlist, you can check it out in the description below. All right, girls and guys, that's it for me this time. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see more of on this channel and uh, I'll do my best to accommodate you. I'll see you soon again. And as always, stay awesome. Hey guys, so I forgot to add that um, I've been getting a lot of comments and requests about traditional uh, more traditional sketching and drawing videos. So yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Let me know in the, in the comments below uh, or if you'd like to have some more digital painting or whatever it is that you want to see more of on this channel. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be creating more traditional sketching stuff and more traditional drawing because I think that's very important as, um, as an artist, you know, to, to practice these things. So yeah, just uh, wanted to add that and uh, I'll see you soon.